This video has been suggested from this comment. So remember to like and comment on my videos so that your song suggestion may become the next piano lesson. Also, only about 10% of you who watch my lessons are subscribed, so if you enjoyed or learned something from this video, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can always undo it later. Anyway, let's get right into the lesson. Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you how to play Count On Me by Bruno Mars. Okay, so give you a preview of that very awesome chorus section you're going to learn, the Count On Me section. Check it out. Yeah, and afterwards you can repeat it with improvisation, it's cool, like... Etc. Okay, but anyway, so let's learn it right now. We'll break it up to a few parts that's easier to learn, alright? So here we go. First part, right hand starts on the two E's here. Middle C, go up an octave C, is the E here. So two E's. And then C, E, G, down to C, B, E, G, down to B, B, A. That's it for the first part. Alright. Let's learn it again. So it goes E, E, C, E, G, C, B, E, G, down to B, B, A. That's it for the right hand for the first part. Left hand, we have four chords for the first part. The four chords are C major, which is C, E, G. Second chord is E minor, which is E, G, B. Third chord is A minor, which is A, C, E. And fourth chord is G major, which is G, B, D. With these four chords in mind, so C major, E minor, A minor, and G major. Turns together, goes like this, so right hand starts. C and C major together. B and E minor together. After B, A minor by itself. After A, G major by itself. That's it for the first part, alright? One more time, it goes... Together, together, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. Moving on to the second part, right continues. Goes C F E D C F E D C. Okay, that's it for the second part. One more time. Goes C F E D C F E D C. Left hand is just one chord, F major, F A C. So with that chord in mind, turns together for the second part goes like this. So right hand starts C, F, and F major just get up. That's it for the second part. All right, one more time. So it goes to get up. That's it for the second part. So back to back, the two parts of blunt so far will be played like this. Okay, something awesome happens for the third and the fourth part. It's actually pretty much exactly the same as the first two parts, but just without the upbeat of the first part, two E's, okay? So everything else is the same. So for the second part, you know how it goes. After the C, it repeats back from the C and C major together. And then back to the same second part, which is the fourth part. So yeah. That's it for the third and fourth parts. Pretty much exactly the same as the first and second part respectively, but just the first part, just subtract the first two E's on the right hand. Okay, so that's it for the first four parts now. Let's learn the next part. Right hand continues, goes C, C, D, E, up to the high C, B, back down to C, D, E, up to B, A, G, F, E. That's it for the right hand for this last part. Okay, one more time, goes C, C, D, E, up to C, B, C, D, E, up to B, A, G, F, E. That's it for the right hand. Left hand, we have these following chords. We have C major, C, G, E minor, which is E, G, B, A minor, which is A, C, E, then G major, G, B, D, and then F major, F, A, C, and back to G major. 
So you kind of know all these chords already based on the other parts we've learned. All right, so one more time, the chords are C major, E minor, A minor, G major, F major, and G major. To end together, it goes like this, C and C major together. B and E minor together. A and A minor together. G and G major together. F and F major together. E and G major together. That's it. All right. Yeah, just like that. One more time. So together. 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 That's it. So all five parts of this lesson will be played like this. Check it out. And that's it. So yeah, once you get the melody and block chords of all these parts all good and you know, consistently correct when you repeat it, then you can start to add your own improvisations and decoration patterns to make it more awesome. All right, left hand you could do like octave bass, you like, and then up here Joe's with the rhythmic patterns. Yeah, to play around with it, okay? And right hand can harmonize the bass on the chords to make it thicker in texture, so you can be like... Yeah, play around with it like that. Have fun, okay? Awesome stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. By the way, if you want to learn other Bruno Mars song, go ahead, search up Bruno Mars Amos Store in the YouTube search to find all those other lessons to learn. A lot of great songs by Bruno Mars, so learn it from my channel. As for now, that's pretty much it for today's lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally there are multiple thousands and thousands of these videos ranging from pop songs of all languages, meme songs, video game music, movie, anime, and cartoon theme songs, and many more songs of all sorts that I teach. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me. Learn from my piano courses on how to play by ER, improvise, read sheet music, how to play and sing, and many more courses at all types of levels, even for those who have never touched a piano before. As for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.